Time for tech tips. So if you're in the process of buying a house or working out your mortgage, which is always fun, <laughs> there's a spear phishing scam that could target your data. Luckily, we have Stan Prager here from GoGeeks to tell us more about how the scam works and what we can do to protect our information. Hey, Stan. Happy Friday. Happy and to Friday. You, let's get the elephant out of the room first. <laughs> Still no Stan. beer. It's a little bit cold. I picked probably the wrong time of year for this. Yeah, but, you, you certainly know, did. It was my New Year's resolution. I wanted to get that out of the way so I could be successful with <laughs> my New Year's resolution. Done. Now I'm done for 365 yeah, days. Okay, no we'll see how long it lasts. I did it right. four, four minutes after I woke up on New Year's Day. So. Good for you. It's a good year, it's a so, good year far. so far. It's a Things great are, year. I can already notch something off. I was successful <laughs> right. with it. So, uh, spear fishing. Nothing to do with uh, gladiators with spears or uh, fishing for, for tuna. This is a, a, a targeted scheme where an email would come out to you that has personal information about you to make it appear more credible. Now, you guys have seen this, and we've talked about this in the past, mm -hmm. the ones with bomb threats to businesses, the mm -hmm. ones with blackmail, extortion, we know where your daughter goes to school. These kinds of things, they gather enough data about you that they can put together an email to make you believe that they're legit. Okay? Okay. The latest target to this is mortgage lending. So they're looking for mm -hmm. people who are buying a home. Mm -hmm. they, they get into their email, and they kind of lurk. And... They'll, they'll lurk for months sometimes on people to gather as much information, which is really creepy. Gather right. a lot of information about you. Somebody gets into your email, they know everything, they know all of your friends, Brittany. They know all the things that you do and that you email. They know everywhere that you shop. So if they want to uh, approach you with a targeted email, they've got enough to kind of sell their credibility. Right. So you believe they're so for I, real. Yeah, okay? give in. With the mortgage lending scheme, the day before the house closes, they impersonate the actual mortgage lender, tell them to transfer the funds to this uh, bogus account. Wow. wow. This takes a lot of time to set up, I would it think. It does. It does. Seriously. Um, but what's really bad about it, though, is that so far, none of the people that have been victimized by this have gotten the money back and they lost the house. <gasps> All of them. So it works oh, in... Oh, that's heartbreaking. It's yes. the day before you're supposed to close, so yep. you're already very anxious. Mm -hmm. You don't want anything to go wrong. Right. And then you get this... It's not anonymous, which you think is a legit email saying to wire the money for your down payment to the bank, but it's not your, really your the bank. Your closing cost goes to this. This is what you need to do. And so they impersonate your actual mortgage lender. They, they've been lurking, remember, in your email. Mm -hmm. So they know who your actual mortgage lender is. They know his email address. So they spoof that, send it to you with a, oh, with a link man. to click on. This is where you're going to send the money to. So you then you know put in your bank account information and you send it over. So you've sent your closing costs. You've sent like, you know, it's been thousands and thousands of dollars that people have sent. Is there this. anything in the email that you that will tip it off at all? To well, know spear fake? phishing email, all, all emails, if you look at them closely enough, you'll see. Like if you look at the address, you can see what the actual address was mm -hmm. as opposed to who it appears to come from. But who looks at that? You know, right. I mean, if you were going to be skeptical, you would then take some steps to look at it closer. Because you're not expecting it. Right. So you and, don't and even it, bother to look. And right? the timing of it. That's exactly. And that's what it is, is they try to beat your actual mortgage broker to the punch. He's going to be emailing you to tell you what you need to do with closing costs. Get them first. Get it at 6 a.m. Now, know? is this scam primarily just for people who are closing on mortgages or any other big, you know, uh, economic thing, loans just, of any this sort? This is just one component of it. Okay. It goes all over the place. But again, remember, these are all just kind of subsets of the larger spear phishing, which could be, we know there's things on your computer that you don't want your friends to see. If you don't pay us this amount of money We just Bitcoin, had that story at noon. It, it's exactly. going around Western it, Mass. It is. It is, absolutely. I had a client come in who is literally shaking because he believed this was for real. And so the email that he got, it had his name and had an old email password wow. that, had been, that had been stolen in a data breach from years ago. Sure. And it had, you know, it, it, the town that he lived in. So, I mean, it looked real mm -hmm. from that standpoint. Of course, when you get scared, and it, I mean, the guy really didn't have anything that they could really blackmail him when I was actually talking to him, you know, unless he was being dishonest. It seemed that there was nothing, but he believed that they were going to manufacture sure. something and send it out to everybody. And imagine That's why it's your so business scary. contacts, yeah. your friends, your mother yeah. gets it. So, so what do we do to keep ourselves safe then? The most line. important thing is use a really good quality password, really strong password on your email. And make sure if you ever suspect that anything's like a mm -hmm. change that password because if they get in they're gonna these guys are gonna monitor you for months before they and strike. you'll never know it you'll never know it it's very creepy gonna change my password yeah. after the today show. and not not to fluffy one remember okay. <laughs> right. or password one, or two, password one two three four right. or, or yeah, persano okay. four or something yeah how'd classic. you know that was my password <laughs> no it's this persano three knows sorry it. I, all right Stan. Thanks, Stan. Thank, thank you so you. much